Records, as the saying goes, are made to be broken. But this baseball season, what's being broken isn't a cause for celebration. It's a cause for concern. In my playing experience, uh, I remember we used the splinter bats and bats used to break, but they never used to just come apart like they do now. Major League pitchers can throw the ball nearly 100 miles an hour, and sometimes when hitters make contact, their wooden bats break. Recently, pieces from those bats have struck players and fans, even an umpire, and there have been injuries, some serious. Think about somebody catching one in the neck, basically, because a lot of times they're coming down, you see them land a lot of times in the middle of the field, like spears almost. I think it's, this is the part that got hit first, and I think because of the impact it broke this, this is actually the worst break right here. This is where I have the four screws in a titanium plate. Last April 25th, at a Dodger game in Los Angeles, Susan Rhodes had her jaw broken by what was left of this bat. You see so many broken bats. She was sitting in the stands 50 feet away from home plate. Players breaking their bat is nothing new to the game. Bats like this, made of ash wood. But 10 years ago, Major League Baseball approved the use of these, bats made of maple wood. And while ash can crack, maple wood has a tendency to snap and shatter. Rhodes wasn't this season's first victim of a broken maplewood bat. Ten days earlier, a coach was struck in the dugout and gashed just below his eye by a maple bat fragment. Then, on June 24th, umpire Brian Onora was hit in the head and bloodied by a shattered maple bat at home plate. That same day, Major League Baseball's newly formed Safety and Health Advisory Committee met for the first time. But other than calling for studies and tests of bats, it has yet to enact any new safety measures. To some observers, baseball is playing with fire. If somebody gets killed, God forbid, in the stands tomorrow, no one's going to want to hear about the study that's going on. Susan Rhodes would be the first to agree. I see people who are sitting so close with their children, and I don't think they have any idea how dangerous this really is. A danger baseball may not be able to duck much longer. Lisa Fletcher, ABC News, Los Angeles.